Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Feliz domingo por la mañana y feliz día de independencia. That's what I'm saying, Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all NBC family visitors and all of those joining us by audio and video. Amen. Yeah. So we just ask you each and every time, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Yeah. And you know he's got something for you. Amen. If you're not expecting anything, guess what? Don't expect to get anything. <laughs> but if you're expecting something, you know he's going to bless you. Amen? Amen. So I'm expecting. Amen. So praise yes. God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, yes, change you, and correct you. Yes, he does. Nos bendice, nos anima, nos quiere la anima, uh, ánimo, y nos quiere cambiar y nos quiere corregir. Amen. So today we're going to be going back to Jesus is the way yes, part two yes, amen and well we'll get to it in a few minutes but he is the way amen so don't leave here like you came amen leave change yes. leave a new person yes. amen he has great plans for you none of them include your feet so right. make yourself available to him the bible says you can do all things through all christ who strengthens you amen he says greater is he that sent you than he that is in the world yes so you know you're not a defeated foe Right. We fight against a defeated foe. Amen. It says greater is he that's in you yes. than he that's in the world. Amen. So praise God. Amen. And you know, the world has called you this so many times and quit saying this to yourself. I'm not a loser. I'm a winner. Yes. I'm Amen. a champion. Why? Because yes. God tells me. Yes. Amen. You're a winner. You're a warrior for God. Amen. Amen. Warriors don't lose amen warriors are winners amen so yeah. see yourself the way god sees you amen. you're an overcomer yes. amen man i'm an overcomer thank you lord amen. so you don't want to leave the same way you came amen right. so before we get well i'm all excited already but before oh, look, i got my patriotic sunglasses on oh. amen how you like this oh gosh oh. amen red white and blue my <laughs> Praise God. Let's make this declaration together. Amen. 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 Praise God. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do all things. To, to, I, I, I can do what it says I can do. Today, I can talk the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Amen. Praise God. You like my glasses? You can't have them. They're mine. <laughs> Praise God. Boldly confess. You know, the enemy's already, already trying to steal the word, you know. <laughs> but we're not going to give him place. The Bible says, give no place to the enemy. Amen. So if he's uh, harassing you, maybe you're opening doors. You know, maybe you're saying the wrong things. So we got to be careful the things we say, positive and not negative. Amen. The Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. So be careful of your words and your actions. Amen. And give no place to the enemy. This is you. You can take care of this. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. We're going to go back and we're going to review a little bit. Uh -huh. Well, wait a minute. First, we want to say <laughs> happy 4th of July. Keep going. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It feels good when you can get your slides to work. <laughs> <laughs> it says, blessed is the nation whose yes. God is the Lord. The people he chose for his inheritance. Chose. 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 Excuse me. Uh, Psalms 33 and 12. 12. Amen. So we're going to continue yes. to say, God is over this nation. Amen. Amen. And we're going to continue to pray. He says, if my people pray. Yes. Amen. Pray. So we're going to continue to pray. No one can stop you from praying. Make sure that you're praying. Don't just see the bad things. And don't just confess the bad things. Mm -hmm. What can I do about this? He says, if my people pray. Are you a child of God? Then you start praying amen you start praying for this country thank you lord pray yeah. for your leaders you know hey may not be the one you want in office but still the bible says pray for yeah your leaders yes yes amen yes. so we need to pray about this and be obedient <laughs> what the word of god says amen so yeah. and we, you know i'm not gonna pray for anybody for four years until a new new person comes in <laughs> no you gotta pray on a daily basis you pray amen. for amen. your leaders amen yes. you have to do your part yes amen yes. so amen. don't just complain about things how things are and all this right, right. 
Pray. Amen. Things change. Yes. I saw that somewhere. He says, when we pray, things change. Yeah. And you know what? I'm the thing. <laughs> <laughs> when you pray, things yeah. change. And yeah. I'm the thing that's got, that's got to change. Yeah. Amen. So you do the same thing. You know, when yeah. you point fingers, there's, there's three of us yeah. pointing back at <laughs> you. <laughs> so you pray for you too. Uh -huh. So that you can change. <laughs> yeah. Brother's going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, Kirby. Oh, <laughs> Says happy Fourth of July, yes. happy Independence Day, in oh. God we oh. trust. Amen. Amen. In God we trust. Yes. Uh, John eight thirty two. We're going to use that also mm -hmm. on our uh, message today. Says then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you yes. free. Amen. 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 Yeah. If you read the Amplified, the word truth is capitalized. Amen. Oh. The King James is not, but the amplified the word truth is capitalized amen so he, he is, is the, the truth. truth he yeah. is the truth he is the way yeah. the truth and the life yeah. amen <laughs> praise god keep going we're going to get these patriotic things says we are the land of the free yeah. and we are home of the brave let's pay tribute to our brave american brave american heroes on this day and forever. Happy Independence Day. Independence Day. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So proud. All of you that served, thank you for your service time. Amen. Yes. And for all those that have given their lives, you know, pray for all the families that have lost some of these heroes. Amen. Amen. They're gone, but they're forgotten. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Celebrate your freedom in Christ this Independence Day. Yes. It is for it is for freedom that Christ That's has set us free. Galatians yes. 5, Amen. 1. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know he set you free? Yes, he did. I am free. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You know, I was in bondage. I was slave to sin. But no more. Amen. Yes. I am free. See yourself free. Amen. Celebrate your freedom in Christ this Independence Day. Hallelujah. Keep going. There we go. <laughs> I like the little guy there. It says, proud of being American. Mm -hmm. Happy Fourth of July! Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't like this country and you complain, all you want, all you have to do, all you're doing is complaining about it. Mm -hmm. Then go somewhere else. Amen. See if you can find a better place. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Quit complaining. Instead of complaining, do some praying. Yes. When you do some praying, mm -hmm. it'll change things. Yes. And this is the thing that's got to change yeah. first. Yeah. Me. Amen. Yeah. You. <laughs> Amen. Wishing my family. And friends, a happy and safe 4th of July. Amen. And the bottom says what? God, God bless America. America. Can you say that? God bless yes. America. God bless Amen. America. Don't just confess the negative things. Don't confess everything the news is putting out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because all they want to do is put out bad news. Mm -hmm. We have the good news. We have the yes. gospels. <laughs> and yes. we are to get them out. Amen. Amen. But he told his disciples, go. Go, go and preach this word. Amen. Yes. And we need to do the same thing. He told us the same. Go. <laughs> Where are we at? Keep going. Oh, happy ninth anniversary. New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. Thank you to all family and friends. So this month we celebrate nine years. Amen. So praise God. We're still here. Thank you. Hey, give yourself a hand. <laughs> praise God. Thank you, Lord. Lord. One more, Carmen. Good morning, family and friends. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, every day we have a day of celebration. Yeah. We celebrate. Why? Because we woke up. Mm -hmm. Because this is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, when you have, he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. Well, when you wake up, you know, say, wow, thank you, Lord, for being my way, my truth, and my life. Amen. And he says, this is the day I've given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. You know, when you build yourself up in him, regardless of what is going on out there, you're going to have victory. You know, before I step out of my house, before I step out and go to do anything, I have victory wherever I go. And I'm going to step out in faith and not in fear. I'm going to step out in faith. Amen. I walk by faith and not by sight. Because what I see, fear is going to 
overtake you. But I'm not letting that because I'm already prepared Amen. for what's out there. Amen. And they're going to be prepared for me because when they see me, it says, oh, get out of the way. Yeah. He's awake. She's awake. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> oh, Keep going, Carmen. Oh, that's Psalms 118.24, King James. Here we go. So this is our text. We're going to review a little bit, and then we're going to continue. Amen. Amen. So how do you like my new shirt? Amen. And they say, New Beginnings Church, nice cross. <laughs> John 14.6 says what? King James. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to unto the Father but by me. Amen. I'm going to read it to you from verse 6. And we're just going to re review a little bit about the way because we've already talked about it last week. But John 14, 4 through 6 says this, And whither I, whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Yeah. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither uh, thou goest, and how can we know the way? <laughs> he asked. Jesus tells him in verse 6, Jesus said unto him, he was, he was answering Thomas, but he was telling his disciples. Yeah. Amen. He was telling them, he says, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but my me. Yeah. Amen. No one goes to the Father except through me. So basically, what do we get out of this? Know that there's no other way to heaven. Mm -hmm. There's two places you can go. You can go up or down. <laughs> you can wow. go to heaven or you can go to hell. Mm -hmm. And if you end up in hell, don't blame nobody else. That's it. Amen. Because you wouldn't bow. Because you uh -huh. wouldn't accept. Uh -huh. You know, Jesus went to the cross he paid for our salvation. Yes, he did. Salvation is free. All you have to do is confess with your mouth. Yes. Jesus is Lord. Amen. And God mm -hmm. rose him from, from the dead. Amen. But still, you have to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Yes. And believe in your heart God rose him from the dead. If you don't confess with your mouth, mm -hmm. there ain't no other way to heaven. You can't pay your way. Yeah. You can't earn your way. Mm -hmm. There is no other way. You understand? Yes, <laughs> Bible says, for God so loved the world yeah. that he sent his only begotten son. So there's only one. <laughs> That's right. And he is the way. So right. he is the gap between man and God. Yeah. He is the gap between right. us and sin. And, yes. <laughs> and, and, and you know, we have to cross that bridge. Mm -hmm. We got to accept him for yes. that gap to be there. If the gap ain't there and you don't confess him, mm -hmm. Don't blame nobody yeah. if you end up in hell. That's it. Come on now. This is, this is the truth. Truth is going to set you free. Yes. <laughs> so, it's, you know, if this was somebody. Somebody needs to hear this. Mm -hmm. There's no other way. Mm -hmm. You got to do it God's way or the highway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the eve of Jesus' crucifixion, he sat down with his disciples mm -hmm. to have a Passover meal with them. Jesus told his disciples, that he would be betrayed yes. and then put to death. So he's preparing them so they could be, uh, so they could know Jesus comforted his disciples by yeah. giving them the knowledge that they would need to make what they need to make with this time, Amen. Right. what they need to do. He yeah. speaks concerning the place where he is going. Yes. He tells them that this place is prepared for them as well. Yes. Yes. Thomas asked him, of course, how do we get to this place? How do we get there? What is this way? Mm -hmm. Once again, Jesus <laughs> is uh, answers is known as one of the most beloved and quoted scriptures in the Bible. Amen. He says, <clears throat> "I am the way, mm -hmm. the truth, and the life. Nobody mm -hmm. gets to the Father except through me." Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, that's 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 powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. There's no other. There's no other way. No other way. I mean, that's it. So anyway, and I read to you from the I Am series mm -hmm. where you can stop uh, calling yourself what uh, people call you, what family calls you, yeah. what anybody else calls you. Mm -hmm. It says, the Bible series here, listen to this, mm -hmm. I'll read it to you again. If you have confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, yes. then all these covenant promises from the Word of God belong to you. Yeah. They belong to you. 
You have to do something with them. So I encourage you to look at each scripture up mm -hmm. and then agree with the word of God. Speak mm -hmm. them over yourself mm -hmm. daily. Yeah. Yeah. Not once in a while, yes. but daily. daily. Speak them over yourself daily, especially if facing yeah. hard times, and they will become a mm -hmm. part of you. Yes. You know, you've been confessing the negative things, mm -hmm. and they've become a part of you. Mm -hmm. And you've ended up in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. right. So why not take the word of God and yeah. the promises of God, Yes. and you'll end up in the right place, mm -hmm. doing the right thing, mm -hmm. going the right way. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. As you do, and your faith grows, you will witness your life. Taking a turn yeah. for the best. Right, amen. 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 You're going to see your life turn for the best. Yes. Amen. For the better. <laughs> yeah. But you're going to see it. Why? Because I'm now confessing positive things and not yes. negative things. Amen. You know, it's so easy to put yourself down. Yeah. It's so easy to put people down. Yeah. Why not say the right things? Why not lift them up? Yeah. Instead of putting them down. Confess the right things. And man, there's a whole list of things. Mm -hmm. And on each one of these I Am series or list is a scripture. Mm -hmm. So guess what? I've got to do a little work myself. Yes. I have to go That's right. and look at up. each one of these scriptures myself. And you know what? <laughs> I've told you this before, but I'll say it again. When you go in your Bible mm -hmm. and you look these scriptures up, highlight them. Yes. Underline them. Mm -hmm. You know where it says I, you, me, whatever? Mm -hmm. Just write a line through it and put your name on it. Yes. Amen. Man, this promise is for me. Amen. Amen. You know, somebody else may not be claiming it, mm -hmm. but I'm going to claim it for Amen. myself. Yes. And I'm going to I'm going to make it personal yeah. and put my name to it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, well, you know, hey, you know what you've heard before? Somebody said, well, you know, it's for somebody else, no. but not for you. <laughs> mm -mm. No, uh, it's going to be for you. I yeah. know you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I've been born again. I'm a new yeah. creature in Christ. The old is gone. The new is in. And I'm going to start confessing what the yeah. Word of God says for me. That's good. And you need to do the same thing. Somebody yes. needed to hear it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Jesus is the way. Mm -hmm. Whew, hallelujah. Yeah. I am excited. I don't know about you. If you ain't excited, it's time uh, you get saved. Amen. So you can be excited. You know what? Your first miracle this morning is you woke up yeah. and you opened your eyes. Say, praise God. Did you say that? And say, oh, no, it's Sunday. <laughs> we got to go to church again. <laughs> the only time we get happy is when Friday's around. And say, oh, thank God it's Friday. Why can't we say that on, from Monday through, through Friday or Monday through Sunday? Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Yeah. Say, this is the day the Lord has made. Say, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day you've given me. Yeah, amen. No, we just wait till Friday because the weekend is here. Hallelujah for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Come on now. I'm stepping on somebody. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Woo, praise God. So, he is the way. Now, he is the truth. If you open your Bibles to John, 1 John, where we've been in the book of John. Go to St. John, book of John, first chapter 1, verse 1. And... I don't know what yours says, but mine says, right before we even get into verse 1, uh -huh. above that says, mine says, the word became flesh. Yes. Yes. Amen. And I wrote here, it says, the word became flesh, or the word became human. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know what we're talking about. Who is the word? Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus is the word. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the word of God. Yes. First John 1, 1. Let's, let's read that. Yes. First John 1, 1 says what? In the beginning yeah, was the word, the word, and the word was with God, and, and the, the word, word was, was God. God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. In the uh, Amplified, it talks about in the beginning, before all time, uh -huh. was the word. And it's got Jesus in parentheses. Mm. Or excuse me, Christ. It says Christ. Yes. <laughs> right. And the word was God, with God. And the word was God himself. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Lord. And let me read it to you from here. It says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was God. The word was with God, and the word was God. And the word was made flesh. Yes. Talking about Jesus. Verse 14. Let's go there. Verse 14. Let just go down a little ways there. Verse 14. It says, In the word, I don't know about yours, but mine, word is capitalized. Uh -huh. Okay? 
And that means something, okay? When words are capitalized or not, and it's not just yeah. the beginning of every sentence, but the word is capitalized, that means Jesus. That means uh -huh. the word. It means something. Amen. Mm -hmm. It says, The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory as the only begotten Son of the Father, right. full of grace and truth. Yeah. Again, we're, he is the truth. Amen. I mean, let me read it the way I've got it here. Well, it's the same thing. Now let's go to, uh, stay right there in John. Just go to chapter 8. You can mark these down if we're going too fast for you. Just mark these scriptures down and go back and, you know, review during the week. Amen. Yeah. But uh, chap uh, John chapter 8, verse 31 and 32. And I want to read some of these scriptures from the King James and the Amplified. Amen. Mm -hmm. Expounded some here. So verse 31 and 32. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Yes. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. Mm -hmm. If ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. Yeah. And verse 32 says, And ye shall know the truth, yes. and the truth shall make you free. Amen. Amen. Yes. Shall make you free. Now, I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. Mm -hmm. And you know when you read the word, when you study the word, go check other translations, not just King James. Yeah. And the Amplified says this. The Amplified says, uh, 31 says, And Jesus said to those Jews who had believed in him, If ye abide in my word, my is capitalized. Yes. Hold fast to my teachings and live in according with them. Okay? So we're not just going to live the way we want to. You know, this is the way I was made and I'm going to act this way and I'm going to be this way. No, we can make a change. Change is good. <laughs> Amen? Amen. <clears throat> it says, if you abide in my word, hold fast to my teachings and live according to them. Uh, Don't live according to what so-and-so says. Right. But live according to what the Word of God says. Yes. So if you have to make changes, the Word of God don't change. Amen. You need yeah. to change yeah. according to what the Word of God says. Amen? Yeah. And you are truly my disciples. Now verse 32 in the, in the uh, Amplified says, And you will know the truth. Truth is capitalized. Mm -hmm. Not in the King James, but in the Amplified. And you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Yeah. You know what? This is the word of God. It's the truth. It's going to set you free. Why? Because you're going to find out what the word of God says about you. Uh -huh. About what promises are yours. And when you start obeying and doing what, what act, acting and living according to what the word of God says, you're going to change yeah. for the best, for the better, whichever one you want to say. <laughs> but you're going to change. Yeah. And it's a good thing. But you got to be careful because all of a sudden you're going to change. Uh, you're going to change friends, families. Sometimes they're just going to walk away from you. Okay. They ain't going to want to hang out with you no right. more. But God's going to bring the right people right. around you. Amen. He's right. going to bring the right people around you. Amen. You know, if people walk away from you, don't go chasing them. Right, yeah. and don't go get them back. If God removed them, let them go. Yeah. Amen. Some people come to you for a season, uh -huh. and they might do good for a season, but after a while, it's okay. He'll bring new people around you. Amen. Amen. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. So, anyway, that's awesome scripture. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. The word of God is the truth. Yes, now go to John 17, 17. John chapter 17, verse 17. And this is all read, so Jesus is speaking. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to read it again. King James and Amplified. Jesus says, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy truth, thy word is truth. Yes, it 
Amen. And the Amplified says it like this. Sanctify them. Purify. Consecrate. Separate them for yourself. Make them holy by the truth. Your word is truth. Yes. This is capitals. Okay? So, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We, got, we got some scriptures, so make sure you write them down. Amen. And you know, <laughs> if I say something wrong, <laughs> you can come and, and correct me. Especially you gave me a scripture, but I don't think that was right. Or you read it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Amen. That's okay. I can be. I, I am not perfect. I can be corrected. Let's go to the Book of Psalms. Book of Psalms, one nineteen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Book of Psalms, one nineteen and verse one sixty. We're talking about the truth. Amen. Jesus is the truth. He says, I am the way. I am the truth. Amen. Yes. He is the truth. So mm -hmm. once uh, Psalms 119, 60, one, mm -hmm. Psalms 119, verse 160. Yes. Thy word is what? Yes. True from the beginning. Yes. And every one of thy righteous mm -hmm. judgments endureth forever. Amen. Amen. So the Amplified says this, the sum of your word is truth. Mm -hmm. the, to the total of the full meaning of all your individual precepts. Yes. Yes. And every one of your righteous decrees endure forever. Amen. 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 So we're talking about truth. So there's no lie in Christ. There's no lie in Jesus. He Amen. says, I am the way, the truth, uh -huh. and the life. Amen. So we can believe in him because he is true. He is the truth. Amen. Amen. So praise God. I'm going to read you this one, but you can mark it down. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. Uh -huh. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when ye received the word of God, which ye heard of us, ye received it not as the word of men, but it, as it is in truth. The word of God, which effectively worketh also in you uh -huh. that believe. It will work effectively through us yes. if we believe it. Yes. You know what? If we confess it, if we believe it, we confess it, uh -huh. it's going to happen. Yes. Amen. Because the word of God says so. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's let's do that. Make sure yes. you mark that. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. Mm -hmm. The truth makes us free from sin. Yes. Again, John 8, 32 says, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You know, yeah. We said this quite a few times, but sin, <laughs> you guys help me out. Sin, sin will, will take you, take you further than, than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to stay, and cost you more than you can pay. But you know what? If you know the truth, it'll set you free from this. Yeah, yeah. It'll set you free from sin. So yes. it don't have to grab you anymore. That's it. That's it. Amen. It'll set you free. Uh -huh. right, come on now. This is good. Yeah. Romans 8, 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. Yes. Amen. It. So I've got a few, 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 few uh, scriptures for you. Yeah. So make sure you're marking these down, okay? Let me go to Romans chapter 8 and verse 2. Because I want to read it to you from the Amplified as well. I'm going to read it to you for uh, verse 1 and 2. <clears throat> Romans 8, chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. There is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ, Christ Jesus, who walketh not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death. Amen. In the Amplified. Therefore there is no condemnation, no judging oh. uh, guilt of wrong mm -hmm. for those who are in Christ Jesus, who liveth and walketh uh, not after the dictates of the flesh, but after the dictates of the Spirit. The spirit. Yeah. Amen. And verse 2 says, For the law of the Spirit of life, mm -hmm. which is in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. the law of our new being mm -hmm. has freed us 
or freed me from the law of sin and death. It has freed me. Amen. You know, when, you, when you're walking the word, confessing the word, and living the word. Yeah. In this, you don't know this. Well, you'll know this, but you're battling a spiritual battle. Oh, yeah. In the flesh, I can't defeat it. Mm -hmm. But in the word, and yes. I'm confessing and living yeah. the word, the spirit. the spirit realm is going to yes. open up. Amen. And they're going to slide over mm -hmm. because I'm coming through. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> because I'm a child yeah. of God. Amen. I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. And doors are being opened yes. for me. Doors are being shut for me. Yeah. Amen. And favor belongs to me. Grace belongs to me. And I'm stepping out in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. You, hallelujah. Yeah. You can praise. say hallelujah or, yes. or oh me. Yeah. Oh God or oh me. And we, uh, this is a scripture we had uh, uh, up there a few minutes ago, but Galatians, let's go to Galatians 5 and 1. Galatians chapter, Galatians 5, uh, verse 1. Mine says in the King James, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Amen. And the uh, Amplified says, In this freedom Christ has made me free and completely liberated us. Stand fast then, and do not be hampered and uh, held ensnared and submitted again to the yoke of slavery, which you have once put off. Amen. So we are free from that. Amen. Praise God. The truth shall bring us to heaven. Those who live by the truth have their names in the book of life. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. If you never heard about the book of life, no. there's a book of life. And I want my name in there. Yes. I don't know about you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Amen. Well, let's find out about it. Uh, Philippians 4 and 3. Philippians. Just go down the road there a few ways, a few pages, and you'll come to Amen. Philippians. Four and what? Four and three. Okay. Hmm. Are you there? Yes. I'm not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I took the wrong turn. <laughs> Are you there? Four or yeah. three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let me double check myself. Yeah, four or three. Philippians, uh, that ain't going to work. Yeah. No, it won't work for me because I was in Colossians. Colossians. <laughs> <laughs> Four and three. And I entreat thee also, also true yoke fellow, uh -huh. uh, help those uh, women which labor with me in the gospel, uh -huh. with Clement also, and with others, my fellow laborers, whose names are what? Yeah. In, in the of book life. of life. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you read it from the Amplified, it goes like this. And I exhort you too, my genuine yoke fellow, help, the, help these two women who uh, keep on cooperating. For they have toiled along with me in the spreading of the good news, the gospel. Mm -hmm. And have Clement and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. And book of life in the Amplified is capitalized. Mm. Amen. So, hey, if there's a book of life, yeah. I want my name in it. Yeah. Because I want to live. The Bible says we're going to live for eternity. Mm. <laughs> so, this is not my home. This is not your home. Yeah. It says we're just passing through. Yeah. We're children of God. And yeah. God is in heaven. So, we're on our way to heaven. Yeah. Singing victory. Yeah. <laughs> Shouting victory. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're celebrating. I'm not, ain't no need to be sad. Mm -hmm. 
Every day he says, rejoice and be glad in this new day I've given you. So if you're sad, you need to get saved. <laughs> if you're sad, you need to know what the Word of God says so that you can be happy. Yes. Sis, yes. It, 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 the Word of God tells us that joy is good like medicine. Yes. So happiness is good. Mm -hmm. It's good for you. You know, yes. instead of frowning all the time, put a <laughs> smile on your face. Amen. Sometimes it makes people mad. Why are you always <laughs> smiling? Uh -huh. When they open the door for you, mm -hmm. then you just let them know. Because yeah. Jesus loves me. Yeah. Because Jesus blesses me mm -hmm. each and every day. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear that. Well, you asked me, so I told you. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> but joy, happiness is good for you. Mm -hmm. It's good for your bones. And you know what? Get that frown off your face, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you go a lot of places and you see a lot of friends out there today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Each and every day, you know. Yeah. People say, you know, you're invading my, my, my place. Uh -huh. You're invading my space. Get away. Mm -hmm. I have no time for you. Mm. No. Put a smile on your face. Yeah. Let them know I'm a new creature in Christ. Yes. I've changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, people are going to want to be around you. Mm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you still love pastor? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Let's finish with uh, with this one here. Those who overcome will remain in the book of life. Amen. Revelations 3 and 5. Mark this down. Mm -hmm. He who overcometh and shall be clothed in white raiment. Mm -hmm. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before uh -huh. angels. Now, this is Jesus talking, okay? Yeah. He says, I'll confess his name before my father mm -hmm. and his angels. Mm -hmm. So, praise God. Those who reject the truth will not be found in the book of life. Yeah. So, here's again the word of God. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you've accepted him, your name will be in the book of life. Yeah. If you've rejected him, your name won't be there. Mm -hmm. So, don't go looking for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, Revelation 20 and 15 says and whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire mm. I'm just reading what the word of God says yeah, yeah. so if, you, if, you, if you're if you not in heaven you must be in the lake of fire why because when they go through the book of life mm -hmm. and your name's not on there you're going somewhere else Yeah. this well, is not your like home <laughs> then you ain't going to like it then mm -hmm. you, can't, you, you can't blame nobody else but yourself mm -hmm. I should have, could have, would have, but I would have. <laughs> Matthew 25 and 41 says this. Then shall he say unto, excuse me, then shall he say unto, also unto them on the left hand, depart from me, mm -hmm. ye cursed into yes. everlasting fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. Yeah. Now this is God. He's saying this, depart from me. I never knew you. Uh -huh. I never knew you, you know, because your name's not written in the book of life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So let's close that one with, uh, he is the way, he is the truth and life. Jesus is life. Without him, there's no life. <laughs> Amen. He is our creator. Again, let's go to uh, John 1, 1. He read it several times over and over in the beginning. He talks about, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. So He's our Creator. Yes. Upheld all the things by the Word of His power. Hebrews, let's go to Hebrews 1 and 3. I hope you're marking all these down. And this is not all the scriptures, but this is some of the scriptures. Yeah. And excuse me, but uh, we are having church, and uh, Amen. we're using the Word of God, so yeah. that's why we're opening the Bibles, and that's why we're reading the Scripture, <laughs> and that's what we use Amen. the Word of God. Amen. Amen. So, Hebrews one and three says, mm -hmm. "Who being the brightness of His glory and the express image of His person." 
and up, upholding all things by the word of his power, which he had by himself purged our sins, set down at the right hand of the majesty on high. Yes. The Bible says that God, Jesus, is at the right hand of the Father. Yes. Right hand is a place of authority. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's interceding for us. Yes. He's praying for us. So he's not just yeah. uh, in heaven doing nothing. Yeah, he's right. interceding for us. We yes, need it. Thank yeah. you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. In him all things consist. Yes. Amen. Uh, Colossians, yeah. mark this down. Colossians 1 17. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. Yes. Amen. So there is, however, a great death coming. The death is. Uh, the result of sin. Amen. Let's go to Romans 6. I want you to mark this. Romans 6 and verse 23. So yes, you know, that we want to hear all the nice, nicey, nicey things. But <laughs> these things are going to happen too. If yeah. you ain't going to heaven, you're going to hell. Yeah. And God says, right. if your name is not in the book of life, mm -hmm. he's going to say, go. Yeah. Depart. Amen. He says, you go into the devil and his angels. Yeah. And now he says, death, a death is coming. However, a great death is coming. Yes. And this death is a result of sin. Yes. In Romans 6, very, very, uh, 6, uh, 23, uh -huh. goes like this. It says, for the wages of sin is what? Yeah. Death. But the gift of God is what? Eternal, Eternal life. life through Christ Eternal Jesus life. our Lord. Amen. And the Amplified says this, for the wages of sin, pay is death. Uh. But the bountiful, free gift of God is eternal life through in union with mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, yes. our Lord. So praise God. Yes. You want to be on the right team. Hey, I love sports yes. too. But I want to be on the winning, on the winning right. side, not on the losing That's side. It. That's it. Amen. And guess what? If you're on God's team, you win all the time. Yeah. You're on a winning team. You don't want to be on a losing team. The Bible says the devil is a defeated foe. Yes. So if you join the devil, mm. I said, well, I don't join any of them. Mm. Well, if you don't choose God, you've already chosen oh, them. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Amen. Because yeah. he won't take no neutral. He won't take no lukewarmness. That's right. Amen. You can't serve two masters. Well, I do a little bit of Jesus. I do a little bit of the devil. No. Mm. <laughs> The only fooling is hell. Yeah, that's it. Because God, you ain't you're not in God, on God's side. That's you're it. on the enemy's side. Amen. Side. So, and if you don't know the truth about life or death, heaven or hell, mm -hmm. then you lose anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the death is eternal separate. Listen, the death is eternal separation from God. Yes. This is forever. Yeah. <laughs> Revelation 21 and 8 says, and but the fearful, fearful and unbelieving and abdominal and murderers and home, home whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars mm -hmm. shall have their place in the lake of fire, which burneth with fire and brimstone, mm -hmm. which is the second death. Mm -hmm. So we have a description of what is coming. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it's in uh, Second Timothy chapter three, like the first fourteen uh, verses, it talks about it's going to get worse before it gets better. Yeah. So we need to be prepared. Yeah. And step up our relationship. Mm -hmm. Step up our visiting with Him yes. and building up on the Word of God. Yeah. Because you know when they say they can't, the Bible says you can. Yeah. <laughs> Do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Told him doing this unto you. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's going to make a way. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. The ungodly shall suffer the second death. Second Peter 3 and 7 says, But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire mm -hmm. against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Yeah. He gives salvation from the second death. This is the eternal I mean, life, life eternal. Amen. So, again, Romans six twenty six: For the wages of, of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Yes. Hebrews seven twenty five says, Whoever is able also to save them to the uttermost, mm -hmm. 
that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for us. And we know this scripture very well. John 10.10 10 yeah. says the enemy, yes. the enemy cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Yes. Jesus says, I come that they might have life mm -hmm. and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. So the thing about it is you choose. Mm -hmm. You have a choice. Jesus yes. came, gave us salvation. It's free for us. But we have a choice Amen. to receive him or reject him. Amen. Amen. But when it comes time for him, for us to be in front of him, mm -hmm. Your book, your name's going to be in the book of life mm -hmm. or not in the book of life. Mm -hmm. But that was our choice we made. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful. Amen. So praise God. We just want to close with that. Amen. So we want yeah. to thank. Thank God. Amen. Yeah. For Jesus. Yes. He says that he sent his only begotten son. Yes. And Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you. Mm -hmm. And we receive you as the way the truth and the life yeah according to your word amen and we receive you in our lives lord yes hallelujah you know before we close we want to give you an opportunity to receive jesus as your lord and savior that's what we're here for yeah you heard the word but now it's your choice you have to make a choice mm -hmm. and we give you an opportunity yeah. all you have to do is say lord i've sinned against you i repent Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Yeah. You know that the turnaround is with just one step of life. Mm -hmm. You know, you may be going the wrong way, but you confess Him and just one step, just change one step and you're going the right way. And all you need to do is just accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yeah. So praise God if you need prayer for any kind of sickness. You know, the Bible says our, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. There's no sickness in this body amen so i reject all sickness i rebuke all sickness spirit of yes. infirmity we cast you out we command you to go in jesus name we receive healing in our bodies right yes. now from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet it says we are healed amen so i receive healing in my body you know instead of confessing the, the, the sickness instead of confessing the problem confess what the word of god says yes. it says by my stripes you are healed. Amen. Mm -hmm. So be healed. Amen. Just touch that body wherever you're hurting. Yes. And thank you, Father, that they're healed right now, Father God. We speak healing in those bodies right now. And we receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So Amen. praise God. We also give you an opportunity to give your tithe, your offerings. So <clears throat> those of you watching and listening, if you look at the screen up there, <laughs> don't forget to visit our website, NBC, Big Ben dot com amen and uh facebook it's got the page number uh, on there but anyway you just hit that donate button and if you're mailing it nbc po box 252 marfa texas 79843 and we just wanted to say have a happy independence day and have a happy day in the lord amen, amen. Love you. god bless you amen